Hello and welcome to the series of class 11 practical session. Today we will do an experiment on inclined plane. Before we start the experiment, I recommend you to check our previous videos on coefficient of limiting friction. Check our website www.labcafe.com blog for the manual for the same experiment. The aim of the experiment is to find the downward force along an inclined plane acting on a roller due to gravitational pull of the earth and study its relationship with the angle of inclination theta by plotting graph between force and sine theta. Apparatus require an inclined plane with angular scale and pulley, roller, a pan, a spring balance, wet box, graph paper, pencil, and a ruler. An inclined plane consists of a horizontal wooden plane. Another wooden plane is hinged at the other end of the table so that it can incline at any angle and fixed at that inclination as shown. The angle of inclination is measured by an angular scale or protector attached to the table. A frictionless pulley is attached at the other end of the inclined plane. Consider a heavy metal roller connected to a pan of mass M1 by a light extensible thread passing over the frictionless pulley resting on the plane. If a roller of mass M is resting on an inclined plane of inclination theta, the component mg cos theta acts normally downwards on the plane which balances the upward normal reaction R as shown. The other component mg sin theta acts parallel to the inclined plane downwards which produces motions in the ruler due to gravitational force. If T is the force applied to the ruler upward parallel to the inclined plane, then just to keep the roller in equilibrium, T has to be equal to mg sin theta. Hence, for constant mass, T is proportional to theta. Now for a given inclination angle theta, if we add more weights on the pan, the roller will move upward with a constant velocity due to the force W1 on the roller. The mass M1, the total mass M1 equals to mass of the pan plus added mass in the pan. Similarly, if we remove some weights from the pan, the roller will move downwards with a constant velocity due to a force W2 on the roller. The total mass M2 equals to mass of the pan plus added mass in the pan. Hence, the downward force acting on the roller along with the inclined plane W is given by W equals to W1 plus W2 by 2 equals to m1 plus m2 by 2 into g. The force must be equals to mg sin theta. Therefore, w equals to mg sin theta. We have to find w experimentally for different angles theta and find the relation between w and sin theta by drawing graph. From the above relation, we anticipate that w is proportional to sin theta since m is constant. So the graph would be a straight line passing through origin. Procedure. Arrange the inclined plane on a table. Make the base of the inclined plane horizontal with the help of spirit level. The angle of inclination is now zero. Check the pulley and see if it is free from friction. If necessary, lubricate it with oil. Find the weights of the roller and the pan by spring balance and record them. The list count of the spring balance is 5. Please check the previous video to understand how to calculate the list count of a spring balance. As we can see, the weight of the roller is 105 gram. and the weight of the pan is 30 gram. Now, tie one end of the thread to the roller and place it on the inclined plane. Hold the roller at its position and hang the pan over the pulley. Now, raise the inclined plane to make an angle with the base The roller will start rolling down with acceleration. This angle is called angle of repose. 
Tighten the screw on the protractor at an angle little greater than the angle of repose, say 25 degree. Now put more weights on the pan slowly in steps and find the exact weight at which the roller begins to move upward with an uniform velocity. As we can see, the total weight is 37 grams. Now remove some weights from the pan slowly in steps and find the exact weight at which the roller begins to move downward. We found the weight is 2 grams. This is our first set of data. Increase the inclination in steps of 5 degree and for each inclination, repeat the same procedure to take another 4 sets of data. After taking the reading, I have plotted W on Y axis and sin theta on X axis. The scale factor for the graph on X axis 10 division equals to 0.1. So 1 division equals to 0 0.01. On y axis, 10 division equals to 10, 1 division equals to 1. The graph looks like it's a straight line passing through the origin. Precautions. Pulley should be frictionless. The table should be horizontal. The thread should not touch the inclined plane or the table. The surface of the inclined plane should be cleaned. Weights should be placed on the pan gently and in small steps. In each step, it should be tested whether the roller is at the point of moving up or down by gently tapping. So these are the step by step procedure to perform the inclined plane experiment. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel for more videos on practical session. Feel free to comment in the comment section. We will see you in the next video.